this. This is the Southern Knits in the Mitt podcast, and I'm coming to you from Traverse City, Michigan. And this is episode number 10, and I'm finally back. <laughs> I know that y'all probably felt like you needed to do a welfare check on me. Um, I didn't mean to take the entire summer off, but that's what happened. It is so beautiful here this summer, and I have enjoyed just every minute of it. So that's kind of what I've been doing. I've made a couple of trips home. I've had family up here visiting. Um, my oldest son has moved up here to be close to me. And um, yeah, so we've just been just soaking up every bit of the summer and enjoying every bit of it. And it's been so nice. It's been really nice to just enjoy it. And um, yeah, the summers up here are beautiful. And they're so much better than home. It's so hot at home and so miserable that it's just not, it's just not even fun, fun to do that down there. So I've been, let's see what else have I been doing. I'm still going to the gym, still learning the guitar and yeah, work. I mean, that's just kind of been my life right now. So that's kind of where I am. Um, I got a lot of whips to show you. I've got a lot of finished objects to show you. Of course, I've got a lot of yarn to show you because I've still been buying yarn while I've not been doing podcasts. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, I've got some great stuff to show. And um, I know that earlier I had said I wanted to do a knit along. And so we'll probably do that probably, probably October, September. I'm not going to be able to get it done in time. And hopefully I'll start getting back on a decent schedule for podcasting. So, I think that's it. I think that's all of the the little stuff. Um, you can find me on Instagram and Facebook at Southern Knits in the Mitt. We have a Ravelry group, and um, I have a email, and all that information will be in the Dropbox below. That's where the show notes will be for today's show, for today's podcast. So, I think I'm just gonna get into it, and we'll just start with. We'll start with FOs. I'm gonna take my little my little pen out because I'm gonna show you um, I'm gonna show you a hat first. So this hat is the Musselberg hat, and it's just knit like a tube, and then you double it up. And this is my gauge die works. This is my solar system, um, one way trip solar system, and you just kind of fold it in on itself like that. I had enough of this that I probably could have made it slouchier, but I love this hat. It is going to be so warm this winter, and so you can wear it either way, that way, or you can reverse it and wear it that way. So you could do this. This would, this took a whole skein of yarn, so you could do just a skein of yarn. You could do, like if you had two um, 50 gram skeins you could do that and maybe stripe down through here and do it like that but this was really fun the cast on was a little bit difficult not difficult i'm not going to say it was difficult it was just different and so um once you get past that and get you know it's just a big giant tube it was super super easy you can knit this is done in a fingering way you can knit this into, um, even with a DK, I think. Um, the pattern is really, um, it's kind of just leaves it up to you. You pick your needles, you pick your yarn, and then you adjust your needles with that yarn to get your gauge, whatever that may be. So that's the Musselberg. And yeah, so I don't have like any of my, <laughs> any of my written patterns in here. Sorry. I'll, um, Here's what I'll do. I can um, show you a picture of it. That's what we'll do. Let me 
fix my brightness so it's not so bad. And so that's the muscle load. So I really, really, really enjoyed that knit. It was really fun. Um, and I think that next time I make it, I will add length so it'll be a little bit more slouchy. Or if it's long enough, you can roll up a brim on it. So there's that. Then I finished my socks. So these are, I don't see my sock blockers. I am totally not prepared. <laughs> It's been, a, it's been a minute and so I'm not, I'm not prepared at all. So I'll just hold these up. So these are my socks that this yarn was my over the moon, um, Star Trek sock club or yarn club. And this was the board colorway. And this is what I had left after my hat. And you're going to hear like clicking, little clicking because my dogs are here. Um, but this is what was left over from my hat. That I made and so I got enough they're not like super long but they're not shorties either so that's not bad that's not bad and they're really good and comfy then I have two shawls to show well one's a cowl and one's a shawl um so the cowl this is the Paris and Berlin cowl by Hohi Locatelli and it is oh, do you see that little hatch pattern right there? And so this really turned out pretty. I really like it. Um, I think a cowl is gonna work really good this winter under a coat because it's not so bulky. So this yarn was Lolo did it. And this was May the 4th Be With You. And oh my gosh. I don't remember what this base is, but it's got silk in it. I kept looking at it and I was like, it sure is shiny. That's because it's got silk in it. So I really, really like it. I think this would be pretty. I like it in this yarn, but I think it would be prettier maybe in a lighter color or a more just like tonal so that you could see this pattern a little bit better. You can see it better in person than you can right there on the camera, but I love how it knit up. Um, the only, so when, so you start this flat, you start it flat and then you join it in the round. And when you join it in the round, you do like a three needle bind off. And so like, that first round that you do, you have like this funny little gap and I had to kind of finagle that around a little bit, but it really turned out okay. I really like it. So pretty. So these, this was, it was a quick project and I used almost all of my, my 100 gram scanning yarn. So this would be a good Christmas gift. I think that's what we're going to do is like a, Cowl for Christmas. Cowl for Christmas. That's what I'm going to call it. Okay. And then the last thing I've got. So, you know, I love Huloco and I love her mini sets. And so that is um, what I did. I got her Summer Solstice mini set and I did my. I did it, y'all. Look at it. I started with a purple. That's what everybody said. Start with a purple. It, look at it. Oh my God, it's so beautiful. I'm so pleased with it. These colors are a little bit, bit vibrant, I think for me. I don't know. This may be a gift for someone. We'll see. It's not so bad. I was, the first day I tried it on, of course, I had just been home from the gym and was kind of sweaty and that's pretty. So, I like it. I really like how it turned out. Um, her yarn is just so amazing. It's just like the best. And then this this one, because I use that, I just kind of tie it in a knot and it kind of shortens that up. So, this pattern is um, the Free Your Fade. And it's written for three skeins of yarn. And the first time I made it, I think I used maybe 160-ish grams of yarn, okay? 
And so this is 200 grams of yarn, and so that's why it's a little bit more asymmetrical than just triangle shaped. But y'all, it's just so pretty and bright. This will be so fun in the winter when it's when you're just tired of it and you've got a pretty bright color. But I really, really am pleased with how it turned out. So my I decided that my birthday mini set from Huoco. I'm going to do um, the dotted rays and by Stephen West. And so it, there is actually, um, there's actually one that is a fade. Let me see here. And it's really pretty. So that's think that's what I'm gonna do with my birthstone set right there. I'm gonna do it like that with a fade. And with one that I just bought. <laughs> Cause you know I bought some, right? Okay. So that's all my finished objects. I feel like since I took the entire summer off, I should have way more um finished. But here's what happened. So, for some reason, I lost my mind and, like, decided to cast on a bazillion things. And I just got to where I was, like, knitting here, knitting there, and I wasn't really finishing stuff. And so, I finally just said, okay, I'm going to have to stop, and I'm going to knit on one thing until it's finished. So, that's kind of what I've been doing to try and get through some of this stuff on my needles because I had... I had a lot and I've got some stuff that I even just like ripped off the needles because it was just, I was so overwhelmed. So I'm going to show you my whips. I've got three here. I've got one more that I'm not going to show you. So I had started a blanket for my granddaughter and I didn't like how it was knitting up. And so I ripped it out and I've restarted it. So that's on the needles, but I'm not going to show that. So my first whip that I'm going to show is going to be my socks, and I'm doing a set of scrappy socks. Have y'all ever done scrappy socks? So I've not, and I decided I was going to try it because Kay over the crazy sock lady does scrappy socks, and so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do. Because I have tons of scraps, I have tons of um, these, I did the row one yarn club, and so I have tons of these, like, these are 10 gram minis, and so they're perfect for scrappy socks. So, I do my socks two at a time on separate needles, magic loop. And so here's my first one. And I've turned the heel. I mean, I do a rounded toe, just plain stockinette, fish lips kiss heel. So this is where I am on that one. I'm really liking this, how it's turning out. And for all the ends, I've kind of been doing the, have y'all ever seen the Weaving Steven way that he does his ends? So that's what I did. I'm going to show y'all this real quick. So that's what I did on this shawl. And so I typically, if you've ever watched Very Pink Knits, Stacy over at Very Pink Knits has a really good um, tutorial on weaving in ends. And that's how I always weave in ends. You just kind of like follow follow the smiles and umbrellas as she calls it. So on this one, I did the Weaving Steven. And I don't know that I love it. I don't know if you can see. You can just kind of see it. I, I feel like you can see it more. Not so much since it's been blocked, but you can see it more than you can if you weave it in the way that, um. Stacy does. So like that. It really is not now that I now that it's blocked, it's not as noticeable. When it wasn't blocked, it was really noticeable and I really hated it. So that but that's what I've been doing on these is the weave and steven. So let me see if I can just show you on this one that's not blocked. There we go. So see how it is. It does leave a little bit of a ridge there, but I don't feel that when I try these on. So, I don't know. We'll see. 
I hate weaving in ends. It is like the bane of my existence. And so I've does I I weave in as I go because I can't I can't sit down at the end of a project and weave in ends for hours. I just I no. No. I'm not doing that. So I do it as I go and then I cut my tails long. I leave them long so that after I block it and I just pay real close attention when I'm blocking to really get that tension right in that spot. And then I cut all my went my ends off, my little tails. So there's there's that sock. And then here's the other one. And they're totally scrappy. And I love them. I'm really liking it. This one is the heel is in on this one. And so there's that. And so I'm just gonna go, I'm, they're not gonna be shorties which is what I t end up doing when I get tired of knitting socks, but they're gonna be a little bit longer. I'm just gonna knit them until I'm tired of doing it. And then I think that the next socks that I put on the needles are gonna be some of my Shirley Bryan yarn because I've got one that I really wanna get on the needles um, and have ready for Christmas. So, cause Christmas is coming. Okay. So here is the other shawl, and I don't have the paper in here, so I'm gonna have to look it up. And um, this is the Nuket shawl, I think is how you say it. And this one, I got this kit from Expression Fiber Arts. Sorry, widget. That's my little widget. He's my little. All right, there's it. So I got that kit from Expression Fiber Arts and I started it. So I caked up all my yarn and here's all my yarn. And to me, like when I look at it, it all looks the same. Maybe right there it doesn't look quite as bad. Like that one does look a little bit darker. And so I've, st I've just barely started it. Let's see. So it's kind of, let me put these in here. And I'll put all the colors in the show notes. But it's just like a garter stitch. And it has these little, it's kind of like that hitchhiker shawl, but it has like a lace section right here and then these little teeth. I think this is the front because that's where my, me and my mom last year made um, these little stitch markers. But yeah, so that's just it. And I knit on this for a little bit and I was like, Meh, I'm done. <laughs> I'm done for now. And so I'll get back to it and get this finished. Cause I really, I don't know that I am loving the color as much as I thought I would knit up, but maybe as I get on into it, it I will like it better, but we'll see. I'll finish it and get that, get that done and get that off the needles. But what I've really been focusing on, and I'll show you that next. What I've really been focusing on is another Road to CG night. <laughs> so I just, y'all, I loved knitting that shawl so much that I cast another one on. And so look, oh my God, I love it, love it, love it. So I'm on my third section of it. And I just, mm, it's so beautiful. So all of the yarn for this, except for my one section, is from Ginger Snap. Yes. So my first section, this is section one right there. It is, um, I'm gonna try and do this without knocking everything over. So it's these two colors together. And then the next section is these two colors together. And then my last section, those are all gender snap. This is um, yarn ink. This is called, I think this one's Polaroid. This is deep stash right here. I've had this for a while. I think this one's called Polaroid. Yes, Polaroid. And 
then the other ones are um, from her antique lace collection. But like I said, I will list all those colors. Okay, and so, okay. So if you've never knit the, this shawl, like I know sometimes Stephen West patterns are kinda, they're a little much, but this one is really, you can really, really, um, really change how it looks depending on the colors you look, you use. So there's, um, you knit sections and then some sections you leave on live, you have live stitches. And so I don't know if y'all have ever seen this stuff. It's like rubbery and it's hollow and you just like stick your needle in there and you just run it through. And then they don't fall off. Like your stitches don't fall off because it's real grippy and rubbery. And so I got this off of Amazon and it's like bracelet, like for kids bracelets to make bracelets, but it's stretchy and rubbery. I really like it. So there's that. But oh, I can't, I just, this is what I've been knitting on. This is what I've been really focusing on because it's so much fun. So much, this is probably the, the best, the best knit I've ever done. It's just so much fun. I don't want to put it down. So, um, that's that. Oh, I'm just knocking stuff down over here. You would think I've never done this before. Widget. Okay. All right, y'all. I can't wait to show you this yarn. Because <laughs> I've got some good stuff over here. And I've got some that I have, I can't, I can't find it. Um, my craft room is a bit of a mess right now. I've had company and I've just, um, yeah, it's a bit of a mess. So when I find it, I will make sure that I show it. Um, so this yarn is from Area 51 Fibers. And I'm gonna tell you why. I'm gonna tell you why I ordered it. So when when we when I go home and when I drive, there is so between Grand Rapids and here, it's about two hours and ten minutes, but for whatever reason, that part of the trip feels longer than the entire trip. It's like a time warp where we always, all of us, my whole family, every time we drive through it, we're like, we're entering the time warp. And so now, you know, there's a song called The Time Warp. Jack Black did a, um, a parody of it last year, I think during COVID and all that. And so, like, that's like our theme song when we go into the time warp. And so Area 51 Fibers, off of the original time warp song, they made a colorway. So I'm like, I have to get that. <laughs> I have to get it. Why would I not do that, right? So this is on their sturdy alien sock base. It is 8020 Superwash Merino Nylon. And I don't know if I'm gonna make socks or a hat. I can't decide. But I'm gonna wear them in the time warp, whatever I make when I go through it. And then the other one was this shark attack. I just really, really, really liked that. I'm not sure what he's barking at. He just, you know, a cloud goes across the sky and he just sparks. So there you go. Okay, and then my, um, so I've got another sock, uh, Star Wars, Star Trek, Star Wars, Star Trek colorway that I can't find, and it was the Tribble car, um, colorway, and I can't find it, and it had a little Tribble with it, but this last one was Ohora. Look at that. Isn't that pretty? I got all those colors down in there. That's exactly, like, when I see this, this colorway, I, I think of her, because she always wore, like, that reddish pink um, lipstick, and so that's that. And then I have a bunch of Hugh Loco. So Hugh Loco did, um, so she did her summer solstice colorways and then she did this the, um, summer jams. So I ordered the mini set. There's the mini set. And so this is, you know, a 
mini set of each one. And then you could go on, they had sock sets and then they had, you know, just regular skeins. And so, sorry for the crinkling. So I just ordered the ones that I liked. And some of them I just had to get. So this is You Sexy Thing. I love that. So this was one of the sock sets. So I'll probably, I might do some socks with that. And then this one was a sock set and it was Lay All Your Love On Me. I love this. But look, it's got those flecks of purple and that mini just goes with it so well. This would, this would make a pretty hat, I think. That other one would make a pretty hat. And then I had to get this one, Sweet Home Alabama. I mean, come on. And then Pocket Full of Sunshine. I love this. This right here, I think is what I liked the most about it. Just that that pinky color to that yellow and orange is so pretty. So, that's that. I think that's all I bought. And I don't think I actually have any yarn coming. If y'all can believe it. <laughs> so, let's see. I know that I have ordered two... Advent kits. I've got two advent kits that are going to come. And then I just saw where the Cozy Knitter had her, um, so I don't know if y'all ever follow, is it the Cozy Knitter? She does a striped advent sock set, sock yarn. Cozy, let me look her up. And um, I just saw hers, that's not right, the Cozy Knitter, yes. I just saw, here it is, her 2021, and it's a 24 stripe advent skein. And so, um, you divide your, uh, it comes in two skeins, I think. I think it comes in two skeins, and you, not, you knit a stripe a day for um, Christmas. So I'm going to order one of those. I ordered one last year that I have my Christmas socks that I did last year. And I love her sock yarn is phenomenal because it's thick and squishy and it's really good. It's a really good, and it's always a good skein of yarn. And so I think you can get just the skein by itself, or you can get a skein with a mini that'll do your heels, toes, heels, toes, and cuffs if you want cuffs. So last year I did not get the mini skein and I regretted it. So, I'm going to most definitely do that this year. So, that's everything. I can't believe I've covered all, like, the whole summer and everything in 28 minutes. That's crazy. But, um, so, okay. Let's see. I've caught up on all of my podcasts. I've been watching um, Chevy Rail, Fiber Hustle, Happy Knits, uh, The Bearded Pearl, who else? Needles at the Ready. Those are, like, my, my go-tos that I watch. Cozy Up Knits. And, um, I've not really watched anybody new that much over the summer. Um, just cause everybody's busy. And so a lot of, not a peep, a lot of, y'all, I really can talk. Not a lot of people are podcasting over the summer or they're doing it very sporadically, which is great. I mean, enjoy your summer because it's, it's such a short season. And so enjoy every minute of it, I think. So when I come across some new ones, I will let you know. And, um, that's all I've done there. Let's see. Is there any? Oh, I'm reading some good books. What do y'all like to read? I want to know. I want y'all to drop some comments below of some good books that you like to read. I just read, um, what is it? The Great Alone by Kristen Hanna. It was so good. It was so good. And I hope, hope, hope that they do a movie out of that. There needs to be a movie out of that book. It was so good. And so that's, um, I've got some more in my queue that I'm about to, about to start reading. So, um, been watching a lot, you know, I don't really watch a lot of TV, so I don't really, I've got a few shows that I watch that I'll, I'll watch sometimes when I've got some downtime. Um, but I don't watch a lot of TV. I'd rather just sit and knit or read or whatever. 
Um, and that's kind of, yeah, kind of it. So let's talk about a, a, a knit along. So I think what I would like to do is in October, let's do a Christmas cow. Let's do a Christmas cow, a Christmas gift cow. And um, I will set up a thread and Ravelry. I'll create a hashtag and um, we'll do it starting October 1st. And it can be just a Christmas knit. It doesn't have to be, um, you know, anything big, hats, gloves, mitts, socks, whatever, scarves, shawls, whatever. Um, and so we'll just do a small little cow like that and see if we can bust out some Christmas gifts because I know that I appreciate knitted Christmas gifts. And so, you know, but listen, you need to knit for people who are knit worthy. Don't be giving people who aren't knit worthy your stuff because they ain't going to take care of it. Right. <laughs> and you put a lot of time and effort into it. So you want to, you want to give it to people who are going to appreciate it. Um, so I think that's what we'll do. We'll do that for October. We'll do a Christmas knit along. I'll create a hashtag on Instagram and a thread in the Ravelry group and we'll start October 1st. Does that sound okay to everybody? If you have any more ideas, let me know and we will go from there. So I think that's it. I think that, um, I think that's all I got to show you. All I got to go over and, um, we'll get back into our routine. Okay. I promise. I'm not going to just leave y'all hanging anymore. <laughs> I appreciate you coming by. Thank you so much for spending time with me. Thank you so much for all your sweet comments. Y'all are so amazing. I just love you. And I love doing this. And um, I'm glad you are here. Thanks, y'all. See you next time. Bye.